All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, today we are back out on the K40. So it's been a few weeks since we've been on this. Uh, we we did that uh, key holder project as well as some uh, pumpkin carving. Check oh, yeah. that out if you didn't. That was a blast. Um, but we wanted to get the cohesion board up and running fully. Yeah. Uh, so today we're going to take a look at that. To cover where we're at. We've got the cohesion board in. It works, it went at home. It's not quite the right size, so I need to do things in light burn. But first is the homing. And we had a comment uh, saying that it's actually because the limit switches were soldered in the opposite direction for the Montport board, that we need to take it back to that. It was also recommended just to take little pieces of tape and throw them on the limit switches. Just like that then move your head all the way away from it and what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn it on and if the limit switches are indeed backwards it should try to home um, and just make sure your hands close to the switch so you can turn it back off before it rattles at the end of it All right, so we've got it turned on. We're going to connect it in light burn, and it starts moving so we know what the problem is. Going to have to take these out, solder them back to the original state, and then we can get the homing fixed, and we can jump in light burn and fix everything in there. All right, since I've done this on camera before, I'm just going to cover it once again real quick. You've got your common, normally open, normally closed. We're just going to move this wire back to this plug or this, this post. Soldering iron, be careful, and that's all we're going to do. All right, I have fixed, uh, finished the soldering, flipped them around again. Going to turn it on and make sure that it works. Beautiful. All right, homing fixed, on to the next step. Okay, here we are in light burn, and we're going to do a couple things in here, but first off, uh, let's take a look at the size of this. It is 200 by 200. We know that we can get a bigger size than that, so we are going to edit that. I'm actually going to edit uh, on the machine uh, where it inputs and find your laser, and what we're going to do here is we're going to select that, and actually while I'm here, I'm going to go ahead and throw K40 on the end of this name so I can remember exactly what it is, Smoothieware K40. Now I'm going to adjust the x-axis to 310 millimeters and the y-axis to 215. We know that's the usable size uh, from the other board, so that's what we're going to start with, and if we need to tweak it later, we can tweak it at another point. So we're going to go ahead and save that. The homing, I'm going to put, uh, leave it here, top left, or sorry, uh, leave it in the front left and save this. And now we've got the size that we want it to be uh, to have the larger work area. Now I've got the job origin in the back left. You can do front left. Uh, you can put it where you want it to make it look and function however you want. And if you go under tools and device settings, you can take a look and we can change the origin. So, <clears throat> and this is a mistake that I am actually going to fix later. But, um, looks like it didn't fully pull those 310 and 215 so let's change those in the work size and we will save that uh, origin is front left so pull back up smoothieware and now we've got the right settings that we want However, and this is where it's actually a mistake, right? So I think the origin needs to be the back left because that's where the limits are and that is incorrect i just don't know it at the time of filming this um but i also did that on the first one i'm going to fix that later uh it did take me a little bit of reading to figure that out but remember to not do that and i will show you in just a second uh where or why that is wrong and you can see here when we import our power scale it does it upside down that's part of that problem and uh, I will show you where we fix that in a second. All 
Okay, we've homed it, it works right. Now I'm gonna try to frame our little power test to make sure that it frames down where we want it. All right, so that wasn't working, and the reason it wasn't working is because of the origin. Um, I had it in the back left, and that is incorrect. So the back left is where we want to home, and the machine's got that built in. We want the origin front left, and then that will be how it moves. That, that will move the x-axis the correct direction. Uh, the y-axis the correct direction and you will be able to import and look at everything in light burn correctly as well all right now that we have that figured out homing is working correctly framing also working correctly so let's go ahead and test this on uh, the power scale I'm gonna turn it up to 30 we don't need to go above 30 I don't think and then it'll run everything. So let's see how that turns out. Here's something cool to watch while it's doing the grayscale. You can just see the milliamp meter rising with it. Perfect functionality. All right, that finished up. Let's see how it looks. That is definitely more power than is needed. But, I mean, we could probably do that at like a 10 just to see how it looks. But it looks so much better. Infinitely better than the Monport board. All right, so what we're going to do is test cut now. Uh, I've got the air assist hooked back up. We're just going to do a couple of stars, a smaller one, a bigger one. I've got the speed set to 10 millimeters a second and power in light burns 100% because we can set it on the laser and we're going to set it to 30%. We'll see how that does and if we need to up it and do it again, we'll do it again. We're only going to test one pass. All right, definitely did not cut through at that. Uh, so let's go up to 40 and see what it does. Not gonna move it, just gonna turn it on again. All right, that cut through great. So 
I'd probably try it at 40%, maybe do two passes if need be. Or you could slow it down, but it did cut fully through. Which is much better than what's happened before. 40%, 10 millimeters a second. Works great. Um, cuts much, much better. Uh, the first pass, I forgot to turn on air assist. So I flipped it over and did it again, and it cut great. And it looks like without air assist, it just barely didn't cut all the way through. You can see where I had flipped it over. So it was really, really close. Um, still, focally, it's a little bit out of, of, of the exact right focal length. Um, that's because the bed's too tall. And the stock bed's not adjustable. I want to make an adjustable bed, but I've also been thinking about expanding the whole thing at the same time, which is why I haven't done that yet. Um, so I'm still playing around with ideas on that, but I'm super glad that this board is working. We can do everything again in here, and it's gonna be so much better uh, than running on K40 Whisperer. So if you have any questions or um, concerns or thoughts, please uh, reach out and let us know. All right, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Yep.